Hey, what's up guys? So I'm going to share with you guys this OTK that has two OTKs in one plus the deck can actually play just normal agents. But let me go ahead and show you guys how the OTK works first and then we'll get into the explanation and I'll do a brief deck profile after. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, the cards that you will need are Athena, Ana, Spring of Rebirth, and Valhalla and a face down Ultima offering. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, you're going to go ahead and activate Valhalla. That allows you to uh, special summon a fairy monster if you control no monsters, so we're going to go ahead and special summon that Athena. Next, we're going to activate Spring of Rebirth. Now, this part is actually optional depending on which OTK you're going for. Like I said, there are two OTKs in one deck, which is kind of cool. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, we're going to go ahead and normal summon Honest. Now, Athena has this ability where each time a fairy monster is summoned, I get to inflict 600 points of damage to my opponent. So, as soon as I normal summon Honest, my opponent will then take 600 points of damage. So, let me go ahead and do that. And 600... So they take 600 points of damage. Now, um, Spring of Rebirth, each time I uh, return a uh, card from the uh, field to the owner's hand, like Honest has that ability where he can return to the hand during the main phase. So I'm going to go ahead and return him to my hand, and I will gain 500 life points. Now, I can go ahead and activate the effect of Ultimate Offering and pay 500 or more life points to re-summon Honest. And now, because Athena's effect is not a once per turn, it just keeps on going uh, and dealing that 600 points of burn damage. There's also another effect of Athena, but we don't need it for the OTK. So we're going to go ahead and re-summon Honest. Our opponent will then take uh, 600 points of damage. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. And um, now we can go ahead and return Honest back to our hand using the effect of um, Honest and Spring of Rebirth effect activates and we gain 500 life points. So basically we're just going to be burning our opponent and he can't do anything about it. Now we don't actually need um, Athena uh, here. There's actually multiple OTKs like I said. Uh, this is just like this is basically just covering all of them. So if you don't have Athena and you have two Spring of Rebirths, you can keep on returning Honest to your hand um, and uh, just keep on paying 500. And essentially, you'll just gain 500 each time because if you have multiple Spring of Rebirths, uh, you'll get the effect of multiple Spring of Rebirths. And the way you win by that is by winning in time because your opponent will deck themselves out before they can actually deal the amount of damage that would be required. You can heal up to uh, you can heal basically to an absurd amount of life points to the point where even if if your opponent gets uh, infinite monsters on the field, well, five monsters on the field, there's no way that they can deal the amount of damage. So at that point, they'll just have to scoop and you'll win by time. But um, Ultima Offering plus um, Athena, plus, you know, Honest, you can keep on just burning them. So you'll be paying, uh, you don't even really need Spring of Rebirth for the other OTK. Um, you just need to be able to just keep on summoning. And as long as your life points are slightly higher, or depending on what the life points are at, because guys, remember that... Um, you're only paying 500 life points, and each time you summon, they take 600 points of damage. So keep that in mind as well. Depending on where the life points are at, you can definitely utilize that to your advantage. So uh, there's the OTK for you guys. I'm not going to keep on summoning Honest and doing it because I think that, that would just get boring. But I guess you guys can, uh, you know, utilize this uh, to your advantage if you're maybe playing Agents and you want to try to mix it up a bit, get an OTK in there. Let me go ahead and do a deck profile really quick. It's going to be a brief one. There's no actual extra deck. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. All right, guys, welcome to the deck profile. So um, I'm doing this on Dueling Network because DevPro currently does not have single player AI mode. It got removed in the last patch, but hopefully it'll be uh, there in the next patch. And I couldn't actually go into uh, rated or unrated to do this because uh, there's actually a five minute maximum time limit and uh, the five minute time limit is not enough if I'm going to heal for an infinite amount of life points. So let me go ahead and uh, show you guys the basics of the deck. So um, you can utilize this card uh, as well if you really want to pull off the OTK. Uh, of, here we go. This is a Cat of Ill Omen. Because the only card that's actually difficult to get in this entire deck, um, I guess you could play Gold Sarcophagus if you wanted to, but uh, Ultimate Offering is the card that you actually need for all, most of the OTKs. I mean, I guess you can tactically drop in multiple Hyperions and OTK them as well, but generally the OTK is supposed to be uh, some strange one, and you know, an honest Athena OTK is pretty cool. Uh, back when Ultimate Offering was at 3, I believe me and Pink Creeper played this a long time ago. I think he's got a video up in his, in his channel, but um, Anyways, uh, the only card that's hard to add basically is Ultimate Offering, so a Cat of Ill Omen is a flip effect that lets you select a trap card and put it on the top, so you basically draw it next turn. Um, unless your opponent happens to have the ability to shuffle your deck. But um, getting out um, Honest is actually really easy, and actually works really well that Honest can you know return himself to the hand, not just for the OTK, but uh, because of Valhalla. So um, 
You have three Nova Summoners, which brings out um, Honest. You have three Shining Angels, which also bring out Honest. And then you could just return Honest to your hand, so therefore you control no monsters to special summon uh, Athena. Uh, as far as adding Athena, there's nothing to my knowledge that you can just like add Athena that's actually viable. There might be some absurd card, but maybe if you want main deck triple gold sarks, that's definitely an option as well. Um, but uh, adding uh, Valhalla, you can also uh, use this card over here. It's Hecatrice, which works pretty well. And if you want to maybe main deck some Christias or modify this deck to however you want it, you can definitely utilize it because I know that a lot of players will ask for the deck profile. So um, I figured it was a short video. We can fit in the deck profile in it as well. There's nothing uh, out of the ordinary I would say that you guys will be unfamiliar with other than Spring of Rebirth. Um, and that's really about it. Maybe Athena. You guys might have not seen this card. But I love the artwork on that card. But it's not a very meta card. But you can OTK with it. So it's kind of cool. So here you guys go for the Athena Honest OTK. I hope you guys have some fun. If you have any suggestions for this deck, maybe I'll revisit it in the future. Um, like I said, the only difficult card uh, to actually pull off is Ultimate Offering. Other than that, uh, you can add Honest pretty easy. Um, you can add the Valhalla. It's just, uh, well, I mean, I think it's at three, but uh, generally it's just Ultimate Offering is the tough card to add. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Asianize out.